All right, uh, Jason Hankins here with another trench video for you. Just uh, informational. This is really basic kind of trench 101 type of stuff. Uh, certainly informational. You know, what you name the type of collapse uh, once you've arrived on scene, eh, doesn't really matter. But uh, these are some of the terms you might hear if you're talking uh, to a heavy rescue guru uh, about trench collapse type stuff. So, um, one of the uh, most basic types of collapse will be a spoil pile type collapse. I remember OSHA requires a four foot uh, offset. That doesn't always occur. Soil. Soil has a natural angle of repose, uh, otherwise known as a maximum allowable slope. Uh, and that's that slope where gravity will uh, naturally make that soil settle. If you uh, pile soil at an angle steeper than that, or cut soil at an angle steeper, steeper than that, you're going to have a tendency for that soil to. Uh, want to give in to gravity and fall into the trench. Let's finish up this animation here. Do the animations to help uh, make perhaps the video a little bit more entertaining than just a dry speech. You might have vibration or uh, something in the area that uh, helps facilitate uh, gravity taking advantage of that spoil pile. The next form of collapse is a slough-in collapse, which is also uh, one of the mechanisms. You know, in a previous video, we talked about the phases of collapse, which are more or less warning signs of impending collapse and the mechanism by which collapse occurs. Here you have uh, a slough-in as a type of trench collapse. Um, you know, soil breaks way low and uh, sloughs into the trench. Uh, you know, possibly entrapping uh, your worker or or a uh, person. <laughs> you know, the slough in uh, can often be uh, due to uh, surcharge loading. You know, that's heavy items uh, in the area of the trench or very near to the uh, trench opening. Okay, remember we park uh, our vehicles uh, out of the hot zone, okay, greater than 50 feet away. Uh, did a little graphic here of uh, just the slough in occurring in a you know, mid-belly type of uh, slough in. Uh, it's not really a uh, type per se on its own. It's still a slough in collapse. However, in this uh, it, this warrants particular attention because it leaves an overhang, uh, particularly dangerous for uh, rescuers, uh, anybody coming into the area where this has occurred. The potential to stand right at that overhang. You know, that's why when we're approaching a, a trench initially, we tr approach from the trench ends versus approaching from the side. We don't want to get caught by an overhang. Overhangs are less likely at the trench ends. So the next type of collapse that you're going to see is going to be a sheer wall collapse, also no known as a sidewall collapse. Very catastrophic, usually occurs uh, fairly quickly, um, can occur slowly. Usually occurs uh, on a nice vertical plane. All the shear wall collapses will, will occur on a very shear wall uh, plane. A lot of times in areas where there's been previous excavation. Here you're seeing a, a form of partial shear wall collapse called a rotational collapse. The rotational collapse involves a kind of a slough in a very uh, downward manner. So it gives way low, and then the gravity takes it and pushes it uh, you know, down and uh, you know, on a curve into the trench. This is where you'll often end up with a victim slammed hard against the trench wall and pinned. This is actually called a rotational failure. I, I didn't uh, get that uh, text up in this drawing. Um, rotational failure is a very common uh, form of trench collapse. Here you have your wedge collapse, shown, uh, you know, this is common to your T's, of course, and your L's. Anywhere where you have uh, two trench walls, two trench faces uh, meeting in an unprotected manner. You know, so this will be a, a nice outside corner, gravity's working on it. Um, you know, very unsupported and just uh, gravity's doing its thing. You know, add in a little vibration, uh, you know, time, weather, drying of the soil. Anything that weakens that cohesion 
and uh, this is where you'll get that uh, wedge type collapse. T's and L's. Uh, very difficult uh, to deal with, uh, you know, somewhat problematic uh, for rescuers, depending on the level of the, the wedge. But it is a, it's a uh, subset, more or less, of the uh, partial shear, shear wall collapse. Here I've shown it kind of partially up the wall. It can occur, of course, uh, full length uh, from the toe to the lip. The next two forms of the collapse that you're going to see are a lip failure and a toe failure. Okay, a little bit less common. Um, lip failure usually occurs, uh, you know, when you have a nice, very cohesive soil, uh, nice and stable. But something in particular at the top here have drawn you a little uh, guy with a uh, you know jackhammer. But you know whatever it is, whether it's surcharge loading, um, you know vibration, maybe it's weather. Uh, something uh, causes just a weakening in the very upper portion of the trench, and you'll have a uh, lip failure. Not usually uh, too problematic unless someone was down inside the trench at the time the lip failure occurred. Um, you know, those, uh, the falling soil, falling objects from the top, uh, you know, if something's uh, laying directly on that, uh, that lip, you can fall down into the trench and uh, you know, injure someone uh, quite severely. All right, I think you got the point. <laughs> All right, so um, the next form is toe failure. Failure just at the toe. Again, that soil, uh, that form of collapse is going to occur in, in very specific conditions. Uh, the soil is very, very cohesive. Uh, things are holding together well, but something in particular causes a weakening in the toe. Uh, perhaps a high water table, um, you know, large amounts of rain. Uh, water used in during a construction process, maybe combine that with a little bit of vibration, but something has uh, weakened the soil at the very base of the trench, where normally you have some support and some strength in the trench wall. In this case, weakening it to the point that the toe fails. Of course, at that point, uh, you know you have to worry about the next form of collapse that's coming. A condition that's uh, kind of a toe failure, a subset of toe failure. Uh, that's worth mentioning is the bell-bottom pier condition. Uh, that's where the soil kind of sloughs in at the very bottom on both sides or uh, in the circumstance of uh, like a, a pier hole being drilled into the soil. You know, someone's going to pour big concrete piers. They, uh, uh, you know, create just a circular hole uh, in the earth. You know, again, add in a high water table or a significant rains. Um, and if that uh, bottom gives way, you know, in a circular manner, or in the case of a trench on both sides, you know, then you have what's called a bell-bottom pier condition. Really leaves no safe place to stand or operate near the trench edge. All right, so just a little bit of review. Spoil pile collapse, slough in. Uh, beware of that mid-belly sloughing with the overhang. Shear wall collapse, okay, also known as sidewall with your complete and partials. Okay, rotational failure being the most common. Wedge collapse, lip failure, toe failure. Uh, just be aware of bell-bottom pier conditions. Don't see that a lot, but 
Very dangerous. This is boil pile. Final review here, kind of. Slough in. Slough in with overhang. Complete shear wall collapse. Partial shear wall collapses. Subset rotational failure. Most common form. Subset wedge collapse. Common to T's and L's, of course. Lip failure. Toe failure. And, of course, bell-bottom pier. All right. One more time just to beat this thing to death. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I uh, hope this is uh, somewhat informational for you. Try to make it a little bit more entertaining than just a dry PowerPoint-type presentation with the, the little animations. Actually, it takes quite a long time to put these things together. Uh, it's all new software to me. I'm just playing with it. I'm certainly no professional animator, but uh, the software is kind of fun to, to tinker with and uh, try to put something together that uh, makes this material somewhat uh, entertaining. Okay, Can't really go out and film these types of collapse, so uh, you know the animations work for... Uh, for the purpose. All right. Thanks everyone for watching.